couldn't radical minorities disrupt society by forcing referendums all the time? I don't think so, because a referendum process uh, normally isn't a quick fix. It's not a fast track to a, a public debate or a decision. Normally it takes quite some time. And radical ideas may be surfaced by a citizen initiative, but before it comes to a decision, that will take time. And during this time, the radicality of certain issues will be have to be balanced with different voices, different debates. So in the, in the end, uh, uh, a radical uh, groups may not profit of a referendum process, but be more be tested. So their views have to be tested against other solutions. So I don't think this is a real fear, but it depends a little bit on the process as such, how it is designed, how much time, for instance, do you have for gathering signatures and how much time does it take after you have delivered your signatures until there is a vote? Well, there would still be a reasonable threshold to um, for the number of signatures that you have to collect. And, and having been involved in collecting you know, more than a million signatures on, on about four different citizen initiator referenda attempts, um, it's no easy feat. So the idea that a, a few radical minorities might run around and gather all these signatures is, is a little bit farcical, really. It, it requires a broad support from a lot of volunteers in the country to, to ever achieve a referendum. And, and that indicates that there is broad support for the issue being raised. So I, I don't see that as being a great threat. But look, if, if a group can collect the signatures, it still is put to the people of New Zealand and the majority of New Zealanders have to agree with the question that is put to them. So I can't see the risk there at all.